Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Mostarka25, and today I got a new action figure review on the brand new Star Wars The Black Series. Uh, this is the Death Watch Mandalorian from The Mandalorian, I believe, um, is what they're, they labeled it as. Uh, now, we haven't got the male counterpart to the Death Watch yet. Uh, I think that's what Bo's group was called? I, I can't remember. I'm very rusty on my Star Wars lore, especially with all the different Mandalorian factions. Um, but yeah, uh, this is a pretty cool looking figure. I really like it. I kind of wish I had two of it because he's so awesome. This is just an unnamed Mandalorian, um, but it's very nice. For the price point of, I believe it's $22.99 to $24.99, I think this is a great figure. Uh, he's kind of just background probably for the shelf just like army builder background for death watch for the male mandalorian body um but it's pretty cool this is actually a very nice and unique and interesting sculpt work um there is some reuse from like the mandalorian and probably from maybe boba fett but other than that, there's a lot of new, surprisingly. And this is a pretty nice looking figure and a very good figure. Uh, I really like it. This whole wave has been actually really good. So, uh, what does this guy come with accessory wise? Well, you do get his backpack. It doesn't really like to stay on that much. It does fall off a bit. So, here you go. Um, very nice silver paint apps on it. Uh, I really like the look of it. It might have been able to use some weathering, but like looking clean is, uh, is fine. Um, I don't know if these are supposed to move or if it's just they're like flimsy. Uh, I figured the thrusters should move a bit, but they just want to go back to their position. So I'm going to say these aren't supposed to move. If they are, let me know in the comments below. I don't really know. Um, we do not get anything to plug into the bottom of these accessory wise. I think that is a bummer and a shame. I think every character that comes with a jetpack should just get the Iron Man repulsor effects as just flame thruster effects or they just seem to make their own for the star wars characters i think it's dumb that we don't get those included with a uh mandalorian because you're gonna want them in flight poses same thing with like the star wars um the, the gamestop exclusive gaming grace jet trooper the like kind of 501st jet trooper looking figure we didn't get anything there and i think that's a bummer and a shame too um you do get this little pistol blaster which is in like a very like shiny sparkly um gunmetal gray with a nice like brown either leather or wooden handle uh pretty nice i actually like the sculpt work here i think it could have used maybe an extra like paint color in there just to break up that gunmetal a little bit more um and then you do get his pretty cool looking blaster i'm gonna be very sad that i'm taking this out of his hand because i like the pose i had him in very default but i liked it uh but you do get this blaster i think this blaster could have used something here like on the handles like a brown or a different color just to break that up some sort of silver going throughout the blaster um, but it's a very nice sculpt and you could add probably some other colors it looks like it's kind of bending downwards a little bit i feel like it's supposed to be more upright like that but all right that's your accessories uh the figure sculpt itself is very nice um now one thing i noticed with a lot of people's mandalorians here uh, their helmet has this like little extra like pink glob here, which just seems to be on everybody Like I, I don't know why it's there and then mine has a little bit of a dent divot right here um, Where it's not perfectly flat like on the other side. So that's a little bit of a bummer uh, I haven't really noticed any other paint defects or anything like that on him um, But yeah, I love the sculpt work on this guy. It's very nice um, This is a very soft squishy like over like chest piece thing over whatever the underbody is i don't know whose underbody this is supposed to be uh but yeah i like the i like the detail on this guy i like the sculpt work i think it's very nice um so articulation wise what does he do uh oh i forgot to do an ahsoka's review how like high she could look up but he could look up that far very nice for a mandalorian you want to get him in those flight poses he could look down that much very nice so you could bury the chin a little bit uh he does get a forward and back movement on the helmet some nice head tilt side to side there is no head sculpt in there but they made it look like there's a head sculpt molding into but there's not i kind of wish the helmet was removable though so you could just put anybody's head under here the viewfinder does go down and look move like that the shoulders are attached to like a little ring inside there like hidden in there so there's no 
from what I could tell, there's like a little bit of wiggle forward and backwards, but I don't think it's an actual butterfly. Um, maybe it is. Maybe there's like a very ever so slight butterfly, but I don't know. Can't really tell. Uh, but the shoulders could do a full 360. Um, if you want, you have to be careful though, because you don't want to rip the shoulder pad piece out of there. Um, cause it is just a very thin little rubbery, like insert that this arm pegs into, into the body, but you could get the arm up that much. If you leave it up too long, you're probably going to warp this rubber piece. So you want to be careful with that shoulder, uh, single jointed elbow that much. You get the, the elbow cut as well. Um, I don't think there's any other, oh, there is a gauntlet cut at the other end of the elbow. So you get two different cut points there. Um, and then you do get the hands that, uh, sw like swivel turn or whatever and hinge. This is a vertical over here. And this side is a horizontal. So right side, vertical, left side, horizontal. You get a nice diaphragm in here. You get a lot of movement back, forward, side to side. You can do a full 360 if you want. No waist cut, nothing like that. Um, now the legs are a little tricky here because you do have the belt, which is attached to this leg down here. So you got to be careful. This leg has an upper bicep, like upper thigh cut, not bicep. Um, legs can go up that far, but you're going to run this problem here where the belt's going to warp eventually. So you got to be careful. That leg doesn't really go back at all. This leg goes up a little further because you obviously don't have anything hindering it. Uh, it doesn't really go back at all. Do get the nice upper thigh cut as well, which you get to take full advantage of here because of not being hindered by the belt thing here. I wish this almost wasn't connected down here. I wish it was almost just like a hanging holster so you had full movement on this leg. I think that's a little bit of a design oversight. Like you could have just had this strap like black in here and just have it go under the leg and not attached to the holster just so you have it like the free movement. I think that's a design flaw in my opinion, um, just cause you don't get that full access on that leg. Uh, the knees are single jointed. You only go that far. There is the knee cuts. So you can move them. Now the knee pad is still attached to the upper thigh and glued on somewhere in the back. I think, um, I think that's also a design flaw. This should be at the bottom of the knee, not at the top. Cause now you can't do proper kneeling poses. That look just looks weird. You can't pull this down. Cause you're probably going to rip up the rubber piece there so bummer as well uh no boot cut nothing there ankles do go back that far and forward only that much and you do get the wonderful ankle pivot so there you go that's all your articulation on this guy i've rambled a lot in this video so far um so let's see how tall he stands and we'll do some size comparisons next to some other lines and uh, a couple stars figures. He is right under the six inch mark to the top of the viewfinder. He's about six and a quarter inch tall. So there you go. That's how tall he stands. Pretty nice. I think he's going to be taller than most other figures, uh, Star Wars wise, probably. Uh, let's do some size comparisons with some other Hasbro brands. G.I. Joe Classified, Power Ranger, Dino Thunder, Red Ranger. Um, we got our. Black Suit, Symbiote, Spider-Man, Marvel Legends. And let's fix that helmet. So he's going to be shorter than the power. Actually, he's shorter than everybody here so far. And then we got our Fortnite Victory Royale, the scientist. I still got to do a review on him. I'm sorry that hasn't come out yet. I'm going to try and record it so I can get all the extra stuff of his, like all his accessories off my desk. Um, and get them put away, so then I get to free up some space. But yeah, expect a review on him within the next probably two weeks. I'm trying to get through the backlog, but I'm also trying to do a lot of the new figures right now, so like they get out of the way. We got our Jazzwares Fortnite guy, the visitor. Uh, our Figma Samus, who's actually shorter than him. She was taller than uh, Ahsoka in last week's or earlier in the week's review. Don't know when this one's going up, so this could be a Thursday release. This could be a Monday or Tuesday release. Uh, we got our SH Figuarts Goku over here. Uh, we're going to have Samus falling, so. Um, Mafex Batman, taller. Actually, surprising. Top of Goku's head is also taller. Um, we got our Mezco 
stealth iron man which i feel like these guys just look really cool together like you get that like nice stealth blue with the cool death watch blue that they got going on um i feel like those are some really cool looks together uh who do we got next we got our jazz wears halo master chief from the spartan collection our 1000 toys halo master chief so both very nice if you do want to see a review on the 1000 toys master chief i can do one uh if you're interested to see him next to like a ton of other spartan collections i could do a ton of comparisons there uh or if you just want to see that my opinions on him um got the mcfarlane space marine and i believe that's it that's all the lines that i got out that's all the other ones that i got if there are any other lines you ever want to see in a size comparison let me know in the comments below i will see if i have anything from them if i do i could bring it out uh i know i took away the rebel tech all might from the reviews he started kind of getting very loose in his limbs so i didn't want to keep him around anymore uh but we got our black series comparisons right here we got the uh captain rex which actually is about the same height rex actually might be a little taller i thought this death watch mandalorian was gonna be a little bit taller um we got our luke skywalker that we had last review uh with ahsoka so i still got him out so he's right there uh next to some other characters if you wanna what's his name axe if you wanna fudge him as axe here is the mandalorian din and um bo katan so there's your size comparisons with them. I think that's pretty good. That looks very menacing, just seeing those three Mandalorians together. I just wish I had a better helmet for him. Uh, I think his helmet looks a little too short and squished. Um, and then, I don't know if they interacted in the show at all, but here's uh, Ahsoka from The Wave as well. And if you're interested of what this guy would look like next to an astromech um, that is not from the Black Series, here is the Rebel Tech R2-D2, which I believe is still available on big bad toy store um i really recommend this r2 if you want a good scale uh astromech for your collection for the black series so there you go that's everything i got for you today that's the size comparison on this guy that's everything you could do articulation wise i believe hopefully i didn't forget anything if i did let me know in the comments below if i forgot something but uh let me know as well in the comments are you gonna get this guy um let's do another quick little comparison so i believe the leg pad here is actually like these are the same designs pretty much but they're just upscaled on this guy so like that's the same knee like thigh pad there just upscaled um i believe this is molded here where this is like a rubber overlay so this is new like these shoulder pads are new they just look like the mandalorians here because they obviously have very similar armor but i think all this is like relatively new sculpt work on this guy i think even the like the arm bracers are this are new like everything looks new on this guy like it just looks like the mandalorian either like this mandalorian's armor just either upscaled or downscaled like the hands look like the same thing but they're just like a smaller design so yeah uh let me know what do you think of this figure i think for the price point of what is it 22 to 24.99 i think he's a really good one um i think you can skip him if you really don't like care about the mandalorians at all like i don't know why you wouldn't care about them because they're such cool looking armor sets um but like he's not a named character he's just an army builder so if you wanted to pass him you could but i think he's too good of a figure to pass i just was just dumb backpack stayed on better uh but yeah i think the figure is too good of a figure to pass up on so i i say for the price point of 22 to 24.99 he is well worth it if you could ever find him on sale i would highly recommend it especially if you want an army build but uh yeah so if you did enjoy this video or found it helpful in any way would always appreciate a like as well as a subscribe if you're new and haven't done so it does help out the channel a lot do greatly appreciate it um and yeah, uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying all the reviews so far. I'm trying to get through my backlog so I could do all these new figures. I do have the, I have three of the like six or seven Thor Love and Thunder figures. So if you are interested in those reviews, they will be coming out on the channel. Um, but for Star Wars wise, I don't know what else I'm going to have. This is going to be the last figure from this wave that I review, at least for the time being. I do not have the client. I do not know when I'm going to get the client because I'm trying to cut back on some of the Black Series. Otherwise, I would have bought two of these guys guys um actually wait, no 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 i take that back black series reviews we have still the umbra arc trooper to do 
uh, and the uh, Gaming Greats Jet Trooper. I have both of those. I intend on reviewing them. So other than that, I don't really know Black Series wise. Oh, and Jedi Patrol, Patrol Trooper. I think I'm going to do those three. Other than that, I don't really know Black Series wise what I'm going to have on the channel uh, for a while. So if you're a Black Series fan, stay tuned. They'll come back. I just don't know when. Obviously, we're very. It's very kind of rare when we get these Black Series releases. They're not all the time like Marvel Legends. So, stay with me. Stay tuned. And, uh, yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Don't know when this is going up. It's either going to be Thursday this week. Uh, I'm recording this on the 2nd, which Thursday would be the 5th. So it's either going to be on the 5th, or it's going to be on the 9th or 10th, probably, next week. So, yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye, guys.